Right, hello. Uh, today's exercise is mixed optical mixing or broken colour. Basically the technique that was developed by the Impressionists, the idea is to have lots of little dabs of colour all next to each other, creating the illusion so that the eye actually blends the colour. Okay, so I'll just get started. So first of all, I've got my paints laid out here and I'm going to paint into these different little boxes. So first of all, I'm going to start off with just a bit of blue. Now the importance in broken colour optical mixing is about the value. So the other thing as well, it's good to have a variety of brushes, preferably flathead brushes, and you're going to just make a series of little dabs. Don't have to be too perfect, the more random, the more interesting it will be. Okay, now into this blue, I'm now going to take some crimson. Now the importance here will be making sure the value is of a similar quality so as not to totally jump or jar. So that's quite interesting. And then... Now this technique is especially good for large flat areas, skies, reflections in water, shadows. So now I'm going to take a different blue here. I've got a cerulean blue. I look at the value, the value is pretty good. Add a little bit of white into it, look at it next to that. That looks okay. So the idea is that as this mosaic of marks builds up, when you step back, the colour, the eye will do the mixing and the colours will vibrate and merge together. Now I'm going to do a little bit of a green in here. So it's, the tones don't have to be perfect, but you want to get them Now don't worry, there will be some mixing and blending going on in here, it doesn't matter. The importance with optical mixing or broken colour is there are no hard edges. It's all about a variety of marks creating this reverberation. And you can do this with any colour. Now tonally, you might want to bring some lighter areas into it, say for example this was reflections in water, so you might want to bring a lighter magenta. And you can see the secret is just short little dabs of colour. Here we will bring in some
So when you think of painters like Monet, Renoir, if you look closely at the brushwork, you will see mosaics and patterns a lot like this. Now you can do this with all sorts of colours, doesn't just it can be with any colour at all. So in here we could start with say let's make a warmer one. So if we're doing some some umbers, 